The Gospel of Mark Faith and Forgiveness Mark 1120-26 Introduction 1. So far in Mark's account of the last week, we have considered a. The triumphant entry into Jerusalem on Sunday Mark 11, 1-11 b. The cursing of the fig tree and cleansing of the temple on Monday Mark 11, 12-19 2. On Tuesday, the day begins with Jesus and his disciples passing by the fig tree a. Which was withered to its roots Mark 11, 20 b. Wherein Peter comments, Rabbi, look! The fig tree which you cursed has withered away. Mark 11.21 As they passed by in the morning, they saw the fig tree withered away from the roots. Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look! The fig tree which you cursed has withered away. Mark 11.20-21 1. Faith and Prayer a. The Narrative 1. Jesus tells his disciples to have faith in God. Mark 11.22 2. He says that with faith and no doubt, a mountain can be cast into the sea. Mark 11.23 3. He tells them that if they pray believing they will receive, whatever they ask will be given them. Mark 11.24 Jesus answered them, to faith in God. For most assuredly I tell you, whoever may tell this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, and doesn't doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is happening, he shall have whatever he says. Therefore I tell you, all things whatever you pray and ask for, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Mark 11 22-24 B some observations. 1. This passage clearly teaches the importance of faith in prayer, yet many have abused it. a. Taking it too literally. b. Ignoring what the Bible teaches elsewhere regarding prayer. 2. Moving a mountain was a metaphor in Jewish literature for doing what was seemingly impossible. Isaiah 40, 4 and 49, 11 also 54. 10. Matthew 21 21-22 Those who believe in God can have confidence that he will accomplish even the impossible, according to his sovereign will. ESV Study Bible 3. The ESV Study Bible offers further insights worth considering. A. God delights to give good things to those who ask him. Matthew 7:11 and is capable of granting any prayer though we must ask with godly motives. James 4, 3 And according to God's will. 1 John 5, 14 b. Those who trust God for the right things in the right way can have confidence that God will supply every need, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4:19 knowing that he will work all things together for good and will graciously give us all things. Romans 8, 28 and 32 C. Some have misused this verse by telling people that if they pray for physical healing or for some other specific request and if they just have enough faith, then they can have confidence that God has already done or will do whatever they ask. D. But we must always have the same perspective that Jesus had. That is, confidence in God's power but also submission to his will. Father, all things are possible for you. Yet not what I will, but what you will. Mark 14 36 4 So let us seek to grow in faith as we pray, but also with understanding that what we ask must be in harmony with the will of God. 5. If we feel that we lack in faith, there are two things we can do to grow in faith. A. Read the Word of God. Romans 10.17 B. Pray that the Lord will help increase our faith. Mark 9.24 Luke 17.5 2. Forgiveness and Prayer 
A. The narrative. 1. Jesus enjoins the need to forgive others as we pray. Mark 11.25 2. Without a forgiving heart, we cannot hope to receive forgiveness ourselves. Mark 11.26 Whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father, who is in heaven, may also forgive you your transgressions. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your transgressions. Mark 11.25-26 B. Some Observations 1. Forgiving others was very important to Jesus, as stressed time and again. A. In the Sermon on the Mount. Matthew 5, 7 and 6, 12 15. B. In response to Peter's question. Matthew 18, 21 22. C. In the parable of the unforgiving servant. Matthew 18, 23 25. D. In the Sermon on the Plain. Luke 6, 37. E. In teaching the disciples how to pray. Luke 11, 4. F. In teaching his disciples to forgive. Luke 17, 3 4. 2. Jesus and his followers demonstrated the forgiving spirit. A. Jesus on the cross. Luke 23 34. B. Stephen as he was being stoned. Acts 7 59 60. C. Paul when he was abandoned. 2 Timothy 4 16. 3. We must develop the forgiving spirit, which we can do by a. Focusing on God's love for us. Romans 5 8. 1 John 4 10 11. B. Remembering Christ's willingness to die and forgive. 1 John 3 16. Luke 23 34. C. Meditating on the passages above about the importance of forgiving others. Conclusion 1. We have considered two very important conditions for having our prayers answered. A. Faith, that we believe what we ask according to God's will shall be done, for God does not answer the prayers of doubters. James 1, 6-8 B. Forgiveness, for unless we forgive God will not forgive and God does not hear the prayers of the unrighteous. 1 Peter 3 12 2. What Jesus teaches about faith and forgiveness is challenging. A. But consider the blessings that will come from acceptable prayer. B. Where we must confess a weak faith and an unforgiving spirit, let us pray that grace will create in us a new heart. Such grace comes through responding to the gospel of the grace of God. Titus 2 11 14 and 3 4 7. The end. The gospel of Mark. Faith and forgiveness. Mark 11 20 26.